Many of New York's luxury hotels are famous landmarks, known for their stunning views, upscale furnishings, famous guests, and prime street locations. Chinese travel is on the rise. By 2020, it's expected there will be 100 million Chinese travelers heading around the world every year. Joseph A. McKinnery is the president and chief executive officer of the American Hotel and Lodging Association. As the chief executive of the largest travel association representing the U.S. lodging industry, Mr. McKinnery implements and directs the association's services as well as provides leadership to association members. 亲爱的观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎您收看今天的 Starlux。随着近几年的中国游客越来越多的涌入美国探亲旅游，那么对美国的酒店文化以及酒店业的需求也越来越大。那么今天呢，莹莹把大家带到了美国纽约地标性的。酒店建筑 w a d o f 在这里，我们将跟美国的这个酒店协会的总裁 Joe 一起分享美国酒店业的文化。Hi, Joe. Can you tell us more about the American Hotel and Lodging Association?、Uh, sure. The American Hotel and Lodging Association is the industry hotel industry's representative for national advocacy,、uh, for training, for public relations, for image management.、Uh, we provide research to our members. We provide them with value. You added services、uh, so that they can、uh, have a very strong climate for business in the United States. And then, on a state level, our partner state associations、uh, provide the same services for our members on the state and local level. But how many、um, hotels are this membership of this association? We, we represent the total association. In our partner state associations, we have about ten thousand individual properties. But in the National Association, we have those 10,000. Plus, we represent all of the major hotel brands and、uh, all of the large management companies and the small properties. So we sort of cover about 80 to 90 percent of the total hotel market. You know, Chinese people like、uh, to enjoy the、uh, luxury. Like、uh, when they choosing hotels, the stars like really represent the、uh, the class, of, the categories of the hotel industries. Like, how do you? Rate. Well, in the United States, we don't have a stark uh, uh, categories. We don't have a classification. It's really done by price and location.、Uh, in New York City, a five-star hotel is,、uh, you know, three or four or five hundred、uh, dollars.、Uh, but that five-star hotel in a、uh, secondary city might be only two hundred dollars. But it really goes by brands. If you want a five-star hotel, you'll stay at at、uh, the Ritz Carlton or the. Waldorf Astoria, or the Saint Regis, or、uh, the Peninsula, or the Mandarin Oriental. So people know what they are. But if the Chinese people really want to find out what are the five-star hotels, travel agents are probably the best opportunity for them to to find out what are the better hotels because they understand the different types of hotels that would fit in the luxury or the mid-level or in the economy style. And then、uh, by 2020. You're going to be a hundred million Chinese tourists worldwide. So for America, like how does this association going to help each hotels to improve the service quality on to how to serve Chinese customers? Well, one of the things that, that we do is we provide training for our, our hotels. We have our educational institute. In fact, our educational institute has an office in Beijing,、uh, where we sell、uh, training programs to. Uh, universities and to the industry,、mm -hmm. and we're providing those training programs here in the United States on things that we learn from our our partners in in China. One of the important things is when you have 100 million people, we want to get our fair share.、Mm -hmm. I mean, and we're working with our government、mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that we have more visa offices so that make it easier for people to come to the United States.、Wow. That's one of the major major problems that we have is is trying to get people. Uh, to get their visa in a timely fashion, so they come here and visit friends and relatives and spend their money. Because a Chinese traveler spends once they get out of, and get into the United States, spends anywhere from uh, 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 four four thousand five hundred dollars to six thousand dollars on 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 hotels, restaurants, and purchases when they're、uh, traveling in the United States. I think all these、uh, popular and famous hotels has、uh, its unique culture. And、um, uh, advantage,、yeah. for example, for W Hotel, is that、uh, for fashion, like you know? Well, that's that's for young people,、uh -huh. you know, twenty to maybe forty.、Uh -huh. uh, 
that uh, want to experience uh, to meet people of their own age, to meet people uh, that they have the same things in common with. It's, uh, the lobbies are made to be in an area where it's a socializing, where you can sit down and work on your iPad or your computer, but you can talk to somebody new that you haven't met before. Absolutely, it is a very energetic hotel. Yes. Like, and what about the Plaza Hotel? I heard it just finished the renovation well, and spent a, about how much? A lot of money. A lot, right? lot more money than we can think about. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, they did it, but they also converted part of it into, into condominiums. Mm -hmm. uh, but they still left some hotel rooms and they still have the Oak Room and they still have, have uh, some, some very good uh, restaurant, uh -huh. uh, a good restaurant. And uh, uh, so it, it's, you know, it's upscale. It's right there at Central Park. Uh, so it's a great location for people that you know want to take advantage of the museums and what's in Central Park. And what about Waldorf? Waldorf's a great hotel. I mean, <laughs> this is you know the granddaddy of them all here in the, uh, in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's got something for everybody. It's got you know great two great restaurants. It uh, has great suites and, mm -hmm. and meeting rooms. It has great service protocols. Uh, but is if you want to meet somebody, you always say, "I'll meet you by the clock in the lobby of the mm -hmm. of the Waldorf," and everybody knows where that is. When you choose a hotel for vacations, what are you looking at the most? I'm looking at the location where it's hit, and, and you know because location, they say location, location, location is where you want to be when when I want to go on uh, holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it really depends. I have a lot of I have, I have grandchildren, so I go visit my grandchildren a lot. So I, I, if I'm going to stay in a hotel, I'm going to stay someplace very close to them. Well, it's just a pleasure to be here to, to have this interview with you and, and talk about uh, the value of the United States as a, a destination for uh, the Chinese uh, travelers. And uh, we look forward to having you uh, all join us uh, in your holidays and business trips in the United States and uh, stay in New York City and stay in Chicago and stay all over the, the country. 好的，亲爱的观众朋友，今天我想通过就是这一番介绍呢，大家都已经呃对美国的酒店文化以及酒店业有了一些了解。那么，也许在未来，在不久的未来呢，可以有更多想要到美国来旅游的中国朋友能够得到顺利的拿到自己的 visa， 然后来这里体验一下美国的酒店文化。好的，我们下期同一时间再见，拜拜。